Hey y'all, Jonathan McGarry here, and this is Off the Page, Genesis chapter 16. And this is what God caused to jump off the page to me today as I read this chapter several times. Chapter 16 tells us about Abram and Sarai's impatience with not having a child of their own, and the subsequent actions that led to Abram having a child with Hagar, the servant of his wife Sarai, and the complications of that relationship that followed. What jumped off the page to me was the fact that the God of the universe sought out Hagar, an Egyptian servant who had been mistreated by Sarai and run away. The Bible teaches us throughout that we are to be kind, loving, and considerate to all people, and certainly to those that are less fortunate than we are. While the Bible is often accused of perpetuating sexism, racism, and favoritism, nothing could be further from the truth. The example is set forth by God here in some of the earliest chapters of the Bible. Hagar was a lowly servant, a woman, an adulterer, and soon to be an unwed mother. Yet God seeks her out, speaks to her, calls her by name, and promises to bless her. He also instructs her in the direction that she is to go, and later we learn that God kept his promise to Hagar and her son Ishmael. What a powerful hope that the God offers people of all origins in all situations. That the God of heaven, the God of the universe, not only cares and calls the rich, powerful, and talented like Abram, but he also has a loving compassion and purpose for the poor, the weak, and the less fortunate. The least of these, and everyone in between. No matter where you perceive that you fall in the spectrum of society, God loves you, has a purpose for you, and will speak your name and call you for his glory. So did you see what I saw? Did God show you something else, something new, or something different? Seek God by reading his word. After all, the whole purpose of reading his word is to seek God, to know God, and to have a relationship with God. Let God speak to you today. Until next time, remember I love you. More importantly, God loves you. Keep your eyes on him.